the 16 0 win. You got Rafina scored a hat trick. Jack Harrison scored a hat trick. Rodrigo scored a hat trick. You got three hat tricks in one game. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to FM Blog, the original Football Manager YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video, I recreate Marcelo Bielsa's Leeds tactic. Bielsa has been around in the game a long, long time and he has a huge reputation, especially amongst other managers. Pep Guardiola has talked about him um, being his idol and there's all sorts of other examples, etc, etc. So I've done a bit of research into his most recent philosophy. Um, his most recent team shape, etc., in Leeds, and he's been through quite a lot, and it is generally very, very fluid when he does change things. It's kind of hard to tell what his formation is, especially without the ball. We've been tweaking it throughout the season, and we settled on this, and we managed to hit top four in the Premier League in our first season. So what I'll do, I'll go through, I'll explain the whole tactic for you guys so you can just implement it or just take the ideas away and use it in your own save if that's what you want. If you want to actually download the actual tactic, I'll, as always, I will pop it in the Discord, which is in the link in the video description. It'll be amongst the pinned comments in the main chat. Here it is. So the Premier Division, we finished top four, albeit on goal difference. But if you have a look at the stages section here, we scored 75 goals, which is massive, which is way more than any other team below us. We conceded 42, which still isn't that bad. I mean, there's teams above us, that there's one team above us which conceded more, which is Man City. And none of our players really were outstanding. If you look at the player stats, for example, no one's like top scorer or like top average rating or anything like that. So it was just a really solid team performance. There was a few ups and a few downs, obviously. So we started the season really strongly with a 16-0 win against um, some Welsh team up in Wrexham. Now, obviously, that was the f first ever um, trial of the tactic, so we just plugged it in, went went on holiday for a few days, came back, and it was like, wow, 16-0. And then all these results as well, which is insane. Really good start to the season. We then hit a few stumbling blocks there, so I, I tweaked it and I was changing it, etc. And all the way through the season then, I was changing it until we hit about here, until we hit this Tottenham game. So these last stretch of like 12 games is where I finished the tactic, it's completed, and this is the tactic you'll be getting if you download it, or this is the tactic I'll be showing you. So what I'll do is I'll talk you through the tactic and then I'll head on over to one of these games. We'll watch the highlights and I'll show you the tactic in action and how I've tried to A, replicate Marcelo Bielsa's tactic itself and B, get it to um, work with the match engine so it's actually like doing a decent job because I could easily just replicate exactly how um, his tactic works but it might just be a terrible terrible tactic so I've tried to do a bit of a balance between both of them so we'll start off with the team mentality first and it's a custom wing play tactic so we've started off with the wing play setup and the reason for that is I watched a few um, videos on YouTube and did a bit of research into Marcelo Bielsa's team and a lot of his attacks go down the wings they tend to vacate the middle of the park a little bit because there's so many players flooding forward. So they just get it down the wings kind of thing, if that makes sense. So we started off with a custom wing play, but we kind of altered it in terms of um, the instructions. So we're extremely wide. So that obviously fits into Marcelo Bielsa's extremely attacking philosophy. Playing out of defense and focusing passing down both flanks, as well as looking for that overlap. And slightly more direct, passing not a fully direct passing we would see in a normal wing play system and a much higher tempo again in fitting with the philosophy of Bielsa more disciplined has been selected because we know and we've heard stories about Marcelo Bielsa's discipline in training apparently he will stop a training session if he sees um, an attacking move which doesn't finish how he'd like the blower's whistle, stop the complete training session, reset every single player into the position they were, they were in and get them to do it again and again and again until they get it correct. So be more disciplined had to be selected for this. In transition then, counter press, it's a philosophy which he uses and counter attack as well. Extremely high pressing or extremely aggressive, high intensity team. Distribute quickly from the goalkeeper because from the research I did, there's a lot of instances where counter-attacks have been started from the goalkeeper very, very quickly. 
and distribute to full backs and center backs. I would like as well to select distribute to playmaker, but that's not you're not able to select all three, unfortunately. So that's it is what it is. And um, take long picks is off. Out of possession, then we've gone with a higher defensive line and a much higher line of engagement. So it's again that pressing intensity, and obviously it's extremely urgent pressing intensity using offside trap and with a standard width because we're so wide when attacking. If you have a look here, that to get any smaller defensively would just be it would just cause a little bit of chaos within the team shape then talking about team shape here it is so it's a 4-1-4-1 and this is predominantly because this is the shape that we want to be in when we're defending the ball defending the ball when we haven't got possession of the ball this is the kind of shape that the team resets to uh the ideal scenario for the team and for bielsa's team is to win the ball back almost instantly same with like man cities and your liverpools and your game presses type of formations but if they don't then they do kind of reset to this kind of formation and maybe drop a little bit deeper so this is the kind of starting formation without the ball but then you'll see with the rolls as soon as we get the ball people spring forward so you're talking about harrison springing forward here rafina sprinting forward here rodrigo as well going forward here i would like to alternate rodrigo and Klitsch, but i'm not I couldn't really figure out a way to do that in the match engine. So I've just got one of them going forward and one of them supporting. Phillips then is a half back, but a kind of playmaking half back. And you'll see when I show you the player instructions in a minute. So he sits back then and kind of almost dictates the play um, from that deeper position and protects that back area of the pitch from counterattacks. Dallas as a full back who's supporting with Ailing as an inverted full back who's attacking. So you'll often find Ailing kind of in this position here, almost like taking shots from outside the box. Whereas Dallas will just been doing a standard fullback's job, getting up and down and um, doing his defensive duties, but also again, uh, looking for overlaps as well when the opportunity occurs. Harrison, is, I didn't mention his roles here, so inverted wingers. So they're basically like inside forwards, the same kind of thing, but they're also capable of going to the byline or cutting inside here. Incidentally, these players did really, really well this season. Rafinha was on fire. And if you look at um, some of the results, if we go back to the schedule, for example, the 16-0 win, you got Rafinha scored a hat-trick, Jack Harrison scored a hat-trick, Rodrigo scored a hat-trick. You got three hat-tricks in one game, for example. I mean, you've got Sheffield United here where you've got different goal scorers all over the pitch. But then when we get down to, like the, like I said, the last few games with the tactics actually in place, we've got Rodrigo and Klitsch scoring there, Harrison and Klitsch and Tyler Roberts and Luke Aylin scoring there. So different goal scorers all over the pitch. Like I said, there's not one standout performer. But I'll show you a full game or extended highlights in a second. So like I said, it's a 4-1-4-1 without the ball uh, defending. But then when we get the ball, it almost turns into a 2-1-6 or a... 3133 is, is what's been quoted a lot of the times in the things that which I've been reading and researching this. 3133 three, three with the ball. Uh, it's not always that shape, but it's it's close <laughs> and it's very attacking. So Melier then is a sweeper keeper attack. He's just got the standard sweeper keeper attack duties. Ailing with his inside wing back attacking duties has got to shoot more often because, like I say, you will see him taking shots from outside the box, etc. The two ball players are standard defensive and Dallas is just cross from byline. Phillips then is the half back, but we've asked him to take more risk. So it does um, allow him to play more through balls, etc. I would, I did want him to be a deep line playmaker and we did play about with it. And um, let me know, let me know if you, if you download this and you change it and if it works, because we did have it for half a season as a, as a deep line playmaker and it did obviously work well for some of the season. Um, but we changed it to half back because we wanted it without the ball, we wanted it to be a 3 1 3 3 kind of thing. So sometimes Phillips will drop back and it'll be a back three, and sometimes Dallas will tuck in there and it'll be a back three, and everyone else can get forward. Klitsch, just a centre midfielder support. That's it. That's all he's got. Rodrigo, then a centre midfielder automatic. So with this attacking mentality, he will be attacking and making runs forward. But obviously, when you change the mentality, he will change his mentality as well. But obviously, we stayed on attacking all day, all day, all season. Harrison then, inverted wing and attack. No other instructions for him. So that's just the basic. And then Bamford is a pressing forward. And all we've given him on top of that is shoot more often. But 
I will head on over to the schedule and we will watch the Spears game, the 3-1 Spears game. We'll watch the key highlights. I'll kind of pause it and talk to you about bits which interest me. So you can see here we got the good 4-1-4-1 shape almost with Klitsch has just done a bit of press in there so he's pulled out of position. But here you can see us win the ball back, spring a quick counter attack which the opposition snuff out but then it leaves us with an amazing long range goal at the end. So we win the ball back here from a tackle by Aylin. Bamford starts the counter attack. Lloris comes way off his line. Gives it to Rodrigo, scores from the halfway line. So in this position here, Dallas has just come in from taking a throw in. So he is up the pitch. Basically, everybody is attacking. You've got your two defenders back here. Phillips is the deep lion, the deepest lion player who isn't attacking. So you're basically playing a 2 1 6 at this point. And Klitsch scores from outside the box. Okay, so here you can see another counter attack. We've won the ball off Tottenham on the edge of our own box with a quite compact, it's not really compact now, but it was compact just before we won the ball. We've got the defenders there, the midfielders there, but you can see how much people come to life when we win the ball here in transition. If I pause it again quickly now, so this is then almost like a 3-1-3-3. Three, three, three. So you've got your three there, the one, three, three. It does develop into that when we got the ball now, see? Rodrigo hits the post. So here we can see the penalty, which obviously is, it is what it is, and Kane converts it. So again, this is with possession now, and you can see it again. This time, the both fullbacks are actually playing more cautious. But Rodrigo just takes the ball by himself, because they're so wide, skips through, and he's a great player, he just uh, buries it in the top corner. So that was it guys, let me know what you think, if you like it, great, uh, leave a like on the video, hit subscribe, especially if you're new, uh, if you want to download it, like I said, hit the Discord link, it'll be amongst the pinned comments, thank you very much for watching, we'll see you soon.